he thinks I'm stupid. Me, F21, and this guy, M20, have been together for a year and a few months. I got pregnant with his baby a month before it became a year and I was shocked because of how long it took after all the unprotected sex we had before. I'll say this now, but he was never loyal to me like I was to him. I don't regret having an unplanned baby, I actually think I can do it. When he found out I was pregnant, I think he was planning to leave me that time but he couldn't anymore because we have a baby OTW. I'm am 5 months at this moment so, I'm barely starting to show and grow a lot more. I've always heard stories about pregnant women being cheated on and I've never thought it would happen to me since a baby is in the picture now. It's known that women lose libido when they are pregnant and that's what happened to me, I got less interested in sex because it didn't feel as pleasurable to me because all I thought about was the baby and how weird it is for the baby. I would please him when I felt like I could get in the mood for it, sometimes it worked but I just didn't have enough of a sex drive to get into it as I did before. I noticed the change in me and I know he did too, but I thought he would understand why I felt that way. When we did have sex, it wasn't as long as we used to have, it was more for him to get off my back for a few weeks so he doesn't bother for it. Until recently, I work 40 hours a week and it takes up most of my day. I get off around 8 pita meters and sometimes at 9 which is the latest. I also got a car recently because of my baby, I feel like I'm the only one preparing for our baby. He used to take my car in the morning to go to work because of how early he goes in. I go in around lunchtime so he would take me on his break, and he had an hour's lunch. He wanted me to start driving more to get used to the roads and that is what I started to do. One day he asked me to use the car the next day because he wanted to go drop off some tools at his mom's house and that's a pretty normal thing he would ask so I didn't see anything wrong with it. I was worried if he could take me to work because sometimes he would go to lunch with his coworkers and I would have to Uber to work. What I noticed a few days before he asked was that he was friends with a girl he talked to when we broke up for a few weeks. I automatically thought that was weird. I didn't bring it up to him until a few days later and when I told him that night, he just looked at me and smiled and said okay, I'll block her. I was fine with the answer but what bothered me was that he didn't do it right then and there, I had to kind of bug him about it like, hey, did you unfriend that girl? And he told me he forgot. I also noticed that he made a new Snapchat, which I found kind of odd because he deleted his first account because he didn't use it. It took him two days to delete this chick off his profile, but the night before he did, I texted her and I sent her a friend request because I just had a feeling about it. So that morning he took my car to work, we were eating cereal and just enjoying each other's presence, I gave him a kiss goodbye and waited until it was his lunch so I could go to work. He sends me a text saying he can't because his boss was going to talk to them about pay raises and I accepted it but I was also upset about getting an Uber to work because the Uber I took was very talkative and I don't like talking during the rides. I took my Uber to work and worked my 8 hours like usual. He then picked me up from work and I brought home this delicious cake. We just had a normal night and went to bed. The next day I had off so I was planning to order this for my baby shower. How the morning went was like a usual morning, I made him some cereal and we watched TV until he had to head to work, gave him a kiss goodbye, and said I love yous. I checked to see if that chick texted me back and she did, my heart was beating so fast because I was thinking about what if she said yes they have been talking and that's exactly what happened. I text her saying really? Because that's my guy and she hit me with, wait y'all are together, and my heart just kept beating faster because I have just seen him that morning. She told me that he said that we weren't together and that he couldn't leave because he was a baby on the way. And I was just was thinking about how he lives with me using my car. It just kept getting worse from there. To cut out all the other details and skip the main part, he was texting and calling me please let's talk about this like humans and also told me that he told her that nothing was going to happen between them since they talked before. She then told me, sorry to break it to you, but we fucked, and my heart broke when I read that because I have his baby that morning he was telling me how he was excited about the baby. I asked when that did and she said yesterday morning around 9 or 10 and I just cried because that was the time he texted me he couldn't take me to work. I'm just sitting there thing how could he have the audacity to pick me up from work and look at me in my face while I have his baby while I got off of my 8 hour shift like nothing happened then fall asleep right next to me enjoying a regular night we usually had. When I got home, the room was cleaned and the clothes were put, which I found pretty weird because he hasn't done that in a while, I didn't acknowledge it because it seemed off to me. He still kept calling me and texting me how can I believe a random bitch but he was just lying out his ass while this chick kept spilling more and more truth. 
So what happened that morning was that he and her made plans to meet up that morning and they went to a motel and fucked. When he texted me he couldn't pick me up, he was over there picking her up 30 minutes away while on his lunch break. When I was in the Uber they were finishing up their session. She sent me a photo of her in my car, a selfie from when she was in the hotel. I asked him to let me see his bank statements on his phone to see if that was true and he refused to show me and that just told me all I needed to know. She couldn't believe how kept lying about all of it. I asked her how my car looked and it matched it perfectly and I was just like how does she know how my car looks and just says I was snapping at her while driving and that answer didn't help how I felt. I was over it so I left and he called me when I left and this was two hours into finding out then he admits that, somehow, a motel got charged on his card and it's obvious that he was lying. He then came clean 10 minutes later saying yes, we did fuck and we went to a motel. I complained to him that night about I hated taking that Uber and he didn't care. When I heard him say that I just sat there and cried my eyes out and asked why it took him so long to admit that to me. Just lies after lies. She looked so happy in the photos she sent and I was thinking about me and my baby and how he could do this to us while using my car. She also asked me to ask him if he cummed in her so she could get a plan B and I was just amazed about how fucked up the situation is. I told her to get one just in case and he's telling me that they used protection but I damn well know that is a lie because we had a conversation not long ago from the situation about how he never liked to use protection. He was never into planning the baby shower or going with me to my appointments and now he wants to be a part of it and wants to see me grow. I really hope he feels like shit, because of the audacity he had to face me that night it happened just shows he doesn't care or love me. He disrespected me in the worst way possible. What do you think of this reddit cheating story? Please subscribe and let me know in the comments.